What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for joining me today. Today's video, we are going to, uh, it's actually a, a, a video request from uh, Brother Frank, who if you guys saw my uh, Smoking on the Real video uh, a few months ago, a couple months ago, whatever it was, I think, I think in February or something like that. I went down to uh, Mercedes, Texas, we competed in Smoking on the Real. Frank and his crew or the guys that I went down there to cook with, Frank actually suggested that I do a buffalo chicken wing recipe which actually worked out great because that's what i was planning on smoking tonight anyway so i'm going to uh smoke some chicken wings on the trigger i'm going to show you uh the seasonings that i'm going to use now many of you who you know have followed me for any time know that one of my absolute favorite if actually probably the most favorite seasoning that uh that i have that i use that i like is a, it's incredible from heaven made products however we're out <laughs> so we uh we actually have to place another order which we need to do like soon baby I know. um but uh so i'm out of the the it's incredible from heaven made products if i had that that's what i'll be using however i'm going to show you some of the other rubs that i really really like that i use often even in comps on all my meats um so i'm gonna give you guys a little uh, tidbit there on, on one of the seasonings that I use. So anyway, I got some chicken wings. We're going to pull them out of the package. We're going to get them seasoned up, throw them on the Traeger. And, um, you know, I'm going to toss them in some Frank's red hot Buffalo sauce, which, uh, is one that I like the most. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get these wings out of the package, get them seasoned up, get them on the Traeger. Let's get started. All right, you guys. So I got my chicken wings here. I got the whole wing. I'm not going to separate these at all. I'm gonna leave everything together. Um, you can separate them if you want. You can separate the you know drumette from the wing and then cut off the wing tip if you want. I do that often. Uh, however, I'm, I'm 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 trying to keep it really simple tonight, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, since I don't have the it's incredible, the rubs that I'm going to use is I will tell you right now, you guys, these Fiesta products are some of my absolute favorites. I use them all the time. Um, in fact, look, let me show you something real quick. I even buy it in the big old, I don't know if you can see this, in the big old jug like this, because I absolutely love them. So that's that. But one of my absolute favorite on chicken, actually on all my meats, my chicken, my ribs, and my brisket, um, is this fajita seasoning from Fiesta. This is a really, really good base coating or a base rub for any meat. However, I'm not going to use this one today because I did pick up this Southwest Fajita one from uh, Fiesta. Uh, I think it was last week. So it has just a little more kick to it. But I also picked up this garlic pepper. And the missus and I are really digging it right now. If uh, Since we're out of the It's Incredible, this is actually a really good replacement for it. Now, I will still take the It's Incredible over anything else. But since we don't have any, this is a really, really good rub to use. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use both of these together, the garlic pepper, a great, great base rub. And I'm going with the, the Southwest Fajita seasoning because of the color. It's gonna give it a little more color as you can see compared to the regular Fajita rub. Well, I don't know if you can make that out, but it's, you know, the, the color isn't the same. So this is going to give it that little mahogany color and a little extra uh, bite that I think we're going to like. So I'm just going to go with this garlic pepper as the base rub. Get them all coated up. Now, again, you use your favorite rubs, but these are some that I've been using lately, um, messing around with that are I'm really, really digging. So... We're gonna get these seasoned up. This this garlic pepper man is really this is my I just tried it um, just picked it up last week and uh, it's actually really really good. This would be a really good in my opinion. This would be a really good base rub, probably on any meat as well. So. That's that. 
come back with this uh, Southwest Fajita season in for some color. I think it's going to give it a great color and a great flavor. So I'm going to get all these seasoned up and then we're going to take them outside, get them on the Traeger pellet smoker. I'm going to cook these at 275 degrees. And the pellets that I'm using is a, um, it's actually a competition blend pellet. So uh, I'd have to look at the bag, but I'm not, I think it's got some oak, pecan, and maybe mesquite. Not 100% sure, but it's some good stuff. So we'll get these seasoned up, we'll get them outside. All right, you guys, so my trigger is up to temp. We're gonna get these wings on here. Let's see, I'm just gonna start laying them out. And then my guess is they're gonna go for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Now, I don't think that I'm going to spritz, but if I do, I may, um, if I do spritz, I'm just going to use water. I'm just going to keep them moist, but I don't know that I'm going to have to. So, we'll get them all on. We'll get the lid closed. And uh, I'm going to take a peek in about 30 minutes to see what they look like. And then if I feel like, you know, they're kind of drying up and we need a spritz, then... We'll do that so that's what they look like there we're gonna get the lid shut and i'll check back in a little bit hey you guys these wings have been going for right at about half an hour we're gonna take a look it's kind of dark in here so i apologize for that now i think i said earlier that if i spritz i was going to spritz with just water but i went ahead and changed my mind i had some parquet here sprayed that i'm going to use so i'm going to use this i think this works really well on chicken on a lot of meats but I'm going to use this to spray these wings down. Uh, what this is going to do, it's going to add some moisture. And it's going to add, um, it's going to help add a little more color to these wings. wings just by looking at them I'm guessing man maybe another 20 minutes so that's all we're gonna do give them a little spritz close them back up let them keep cooking and then uh, once they're done we'll pull them off we'll take them inside sauce them up and give them a taste all right you guys so these wings are done that's what they look like some nice color on there they've hit the temp that I was looking for so I'm gonna take some of these and to make them buffalo wings, the sauce that I'm gonna use is this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. This is actually one of my favorite sauces on wings whenever I'm, you know, just wanting wings at the house. I think this goes really, really well on wings. So what I'm gonna do is I like to warm up my sauce. So I'm gonna take some of the sauce, put it in a little container, throw it in the microwave, let it warm up for about 15, 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna take that sauce and we're gonna sauce some of these wings. Uh, the missus likes a different sauce, so I'm gonna pull hers aside, let her sauce hers her way. But this is what I'm gonna use on mine. Let me get this warmed up, we'll get them tossed up, and I'll show you what they look like once we're done. All right, so I got the wings in this bowl. Took some of that um, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce. Warmed it up just a little bit. I'm gonna pour this right over the top. This stuff is so good. And then I'm just gonna take this and just kind of toss it up. And I'm gonna dump it on a plate and we're gonna give it a taste. So I think that's good right there. So let me get them on a plate and then we'll give them a taste. All right, so I went ahead, I just separated uh, separated one wing, 
the drumette from the actual wing itself. And uh, I, I took out the wing tip, but this is the buffalo wing right here. Looks good. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I think it's a good buffalo wing. I think the seasonings are really good. I think they work well with that uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Mmm, good. I want to try that wing. All right, that drum out is pretty good. We got the wing here. We're gonna, I'm gonna give, make that out. Give this a try. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. For me, I think that's a good buffalo wing, uh, buffalo chicken wing. <clears throat> I really like the seasonings. I like the sauce. The only thing missing is I make my my own homemade blue cheese, which is freaking phenomenal. <laughs> it it is the <laughs> you heard the message. It's good. It is uh, without a doubt <clears throat> the best blue cheese that uh, I've ever had. And uh, I prefer blue cheese over ranch. However, this cook was kind of last minute. I wasn't planning on doing wings, so I didn't have all the ingredients that I had to, um, to make my um, blue cheese sauce. And I was not about to head to the grocery store this late, at, uh, <laughs> this late in the day to you know pick up the ingredients. With the blue cheese, oh my word. Mm -hmm. These would be a- It would've cooled it down. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So they're, they're, they, they got a little bit of kick to them. This would have been a home run with that with my homemade blue cheese. In fact, I have a video of um, how I make my blue cheese. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will leave a, I will leave a link to that video down in the uh, description box. Just click on the show more. I'll leave. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll leave a link there to that video. It is excellent. If you like blue cheese, I guarantee you you're gonna love you're gonna love this recipe, and you won't want to buy it anywhere else. Um, but even without it, I think these wings are excellent, in my opinion. this I think this is a really good buffalo chicken wing. So, anyway, Frank, thanks for the uh, recommendation, my brother. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.